Bula, I'm Winston Hill, a proud Olympian having represented boxing in Fiji and today I'll be running you through a series of exercises that you can do at your own time at home. This video is to celebrate Olympic Day which falls on 23rd of June every year. By doing this video, we're going to highlight the, the Olympic values of excellence, friendship and respect. Normally, Fastenock organizes the Olympic Day run and around this date, however, because of COVID-19 and the current restrictions in Fiji, we thought it'd be best to show everyone a series of different exercises that you can all do at the same time. We want to inspire the people of Fiji through digital content to find strength, build healthy habits and be active together in this extraordinary time. These exercises are based around the Olympic Day themes of move, learn and discover. Apart from moving around today and getting our heart rate up, we're going to learn some tips on how we can stay healthy and active and discover how we can use everyday objects at home to help add resistance to our training. Joining me today are some athletes from different sports and some members of, of community, of the community. These are low impact exercises and you'll see they are easy for everyone to do no matter what the age. However, if you're suffering from a medical condition, please consult your doctor before doing these exercises. By doing some of these exercises, you can ensure that you stay strong, stay healthy, and stay active. Joining me today is... Bolovinaka. My name is Leslie Tikatikana. I'm a Paralympic athlete that takes part in javelin and short put. I've taken part in the Melanesian Games, Darwin Games, and the Pacific Games. Bula Binaka, my name is Anega Sodi Kanarayan, a Fiji Taekwondo athlete, and I've represented Fiji in the Pacific Games. Bula Binaka, I'm Lisa, singer, songwriter, and I love to stay fit. Bula, I'm Rani, I'm nine, and I like to stay healthy. Hey there, guys. All right, we'll go through a series of exercises that you can do at home, at your own pace, at your own time. All right, so exercise number one will be the air squats, targeting your legs, building strength, from the ground up right so just a few tips on how to perform the air squat it's just really hinging from the hips bending your knees bringing your hips down to the ground make sure that your chest is up high your back is straight and your gaze is straight forward and then coming back into that full standing position building strength from the ground up so just from the side keep the chest up back is straight bend from the hips Drop the knees and back into a full standing position. We'll try out a few reps together just to show you what it feels like. All right, three, two, and one. Let's try it out, guys. Rep number one, keeping that chest up and tall. If you're working with a bit more restriction to your body, all right, reduce your range of motion. Shallow squats work just as fine until you build enough strength We'll ask Anega to come forward and just demonstrate with us how we can perform that squat. All right? So it's really just hinging from the hips, stick your butt out. And then bending from the knees, making sure that your knees are behind the line of your toes, keeping that chest nice and tall, back is straight, a nice high forward gaze. All right, you can stay right there. Here we go, guys. Three slow reps. One, two, drop your hands. That position is really optional. Four and five. Excellent. The next exercise is called inchworms. We'll take our movements down to the ground, getting into a prone position. So for this one, you can bend your knees slightly if you're tight in the hamstrings. Just get your hands placed on the ground in front of you and then inching out further and you get into that high plank position. Once you're here, walk your hands back closer to your feet and come into a full standing, all right? We'll slowly go through this movement. As you're feeling warm and a bit more flexible through the hamstrings, you could actually keep your legs straight and then walking further out, all right? Shall we try this together, guys? Yes. Here we go, you ready? Ready. Let's do this. Placing our hands on the ground. There we go. You can bend your knees or keep them straight however you want. We'll inch out further into that high plank position and then walk straight back. Here we go. Let's stand up into that full standing position. That's one. Let's go for five slow count reps. And as we progress, we'll make it a bit more spicy. We'll hang here in this plank position and we'll sink a push-up 
just to spice it up. We'll get the shoulders, arms and chest nicely warmed up as well with those push-ups. That's two down, let's try three more. So this one is sure to work multiple muscle groups and major joints in your body. Keep your chest high, keep in good form. Back is straight, we'll slowly inch further out, sink that push up, walking your hands back in. Excellent, this is rep number four guys. Are we feeling runny? Good for one more? All right, let's do it. Place the hands on the floor. Let's go through this whole movement, sinking that push up. You'll find these movements are very simple, but the more that you do, the more that your heart rate will pick up, the more that you'll move and you'll feel great. And that's your second exercise. We've just finished with inchworm, now we'll find ourselves in the next exercise which is sprinter's lunge. So from this position, high plank, we'll step one foot out at a time, holding for a second and then back in. Keeping the movement nice and controlled, stabilizing through the shoulders. All right, we'll ask our lovely Lysa to come forward and if she can demonstrate with us. We'll go through this movement together, so just really five slow count reps, if we can do that together, guys. Let's do it. Fantastic. Right. So just finding ourselves in that high plank position. Here we go. Walking out, inching worm. Three, two, one. Let's walk it out all the way down, hands on the ground. We'll walk our hands out further, finding ourselves into that high plank. If We can just create good space for us. And then we'll step that right foot in, keeping your chest tall and a strong, a nice straight line from your chest down to the back heel and then stepping back. We'll hold that position for a second and then the left foot comes in. There we go. You can work with a shorter range of motion if that works for you, okay? Making this movement really your own. We'll step back, same movement, four more times. That's one and change, two and back, slow change and you can increase the rep count to get it more intense and then over to the last rep left foot in three two one stepping back excellent moving over to the next exercise we'll stay there it's called push-ups now for this one make it your own you can drop down to your knees resting your weight on your knees and then bring your chest down to the floor and then pressing back up holding that position and then back down again there we go and rest Now that we've got the whole body moving and warmed up, we'll progress more to more, a bit more complex movements, all right? The next one is an all-time favorite for a lot of people. And if you go to the gym, if you work out, then you know this one, it's called the burpee, all right? So we'll just start from the full standing position. We'll place our hands on the floor. We'll kick our feet out, come down into a push-up position, bring your feet in, jump and clap all right we'll have ronnie come in front and show us how to go through this movement together and you can enjoy going through this movement with us all right ronnie will be facing sideways and giving us a profile of how to do this movement all right we can do this all together two one all right place our hands on the ground you can also kick your feet out or step bring it down to a push-up position and bring your feet in and jump Let's do three reps together. Let's have fun with it. Moving further out, Rani. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, three reps. Hands on the ground. Kick your feet out, back in, and jump. Moving forward, let's do two more together. All right, moving a little further in front. Bring your hands down. Kick your feet out, down, up, and clap. One more, guys. Last one, and excellent. Now, the other movement will be the sit-ups, all right? 
quite the opposite of burpees. We'll have our backs on the floor. All right, let me take Santa. Thank you so much, Rani. All right, just laying on the floor. You want to touch the floor behind you and then touch the floor in front of you. Keep your feet together and your knees are apart. Okay, let's do this together. Remember, nice and slow, lay back, touching the floor behind you, sitting all the way up and touching the floor in front of you. All right, just a few reps for good measure. Swing your arms, gain a bit of momentum, getting those two points of contact. This is a functional movement. If you might not know it, in order to get out of bed, you would have to sit up, of course, and, and there you have it. Taking our exercises and focusing it on core now, we've got two exercises that will target your abs and strengthen your core. All right, exercise number one is called the straight arm crunch. You can use any household object for this one, all right? I've got a rock, you can use a book, you can use your favorite toy even, um, a bucket of biscuits, you know, and these work fine with anything just for added resistance, all right? So for the straight arm crunches, we'll make sure that our feet are on the ground, knees are pointing directly to the ceiling, and then we will lie back backs to the floor, making sure that our arms are locked out and then we'll come into a fully seated position, keeping our arms straight all throughout. Now you can find a regressed version of this exercise just by reducing your range of motion, but make sure that your arms are locked out all throughout. All right, let's try a few reps together just for demonstration purpose. All right, let's give this a go guys. Backs on the ground. Keep your objects up high, three, two, and one. Sit up tall, Oops. two, three. You guys are doing fantastic. How's Fantasia doing, Rani? Excellent, one more, fantastic. While your core is fired up, right, we'll go straight to another exercise that will target your core. Still facing, still seated on the ground, right? Hold your object close, all right? Or what you can do, if you have nothing to work with, clasp your hands together, 